Please welcome Dr. Evan Anton, Cindy, and Don. How you doing, Doc? Good, good to see you, man. Good to see you, brother. All right, Don, let me, let me start with you, man. Sure. How did your wife end up bringing home a set of monkeys? Well, she, she didn't bring them home. We uh, took a trip about 10 years ago, mm -hmm. and we uh, found this monkey, and she said, I love this monkey. I got to have this monkey. And so I bought the monkey. Yeah. 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 Yeah, no, don't, don't, no, not like that. I did, I did not want the monkey. So then about um, three years ago, she uh, wanted another monkey. That'd be two monkeys. So now we have two monkeys. Now, Don, you, you're not really getting along with the monkeys. One of the monkeys is, is kind of mean, kind of, ever since she was little, she would bite me. They are like my children. I have, I have, I have six children. I, I mean, but I love these monkeys like I oh, do. Oh, you have birth six to them. kids. Real kids, yeah. So oh. I'm not just a crazy person. <laughs> no, you are they, a crazy they, they person. Are, but they are like <laughs> my children. You are a crazy person. They're like my children. Dr. Anton, is it typical for people to buy wild animals and make them pets? It, it does happen. I wouldn't say it's the most common thing. You know, I, I work with a lot of different kinds of animals. I work with dogs and cats, of course, and a lot of wildlife as well. Um, and there are people that breed very exotic animals and sell them as pets. And, and a lot of those animals, unfortunately, aren't, they're not good house pets. I mean, you guys learned this the hard way. Clearly, you love your monkeys. And I mean, it all started, it started wrong. You guys were in Mexico and, uh, right, or, or right. traveling right. or something. My son held a monkey at a hotel. Sure, so that's a tourist Hollywood. trap right Begging there. So how that monkey got to become this tourist trap probably has a bad backstory. That's my son. And I don't know if the, the parents were killed in the wild and the babies were obtained and then they, they keep this monkey and charge tourists a few bucks to take a picture with it or what it is. But those often have a bad Five backstory. Bucks. Sure, so that's classic, yeah. So, that, I mean, I always tell people, you know, don't go take pictures of monkeys, don't go take pictures of lions, don't ride elephants, don't do any of this stuff. Because, the, the, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. The, the, the way that these animals got there is not, it's not okay. It's not good. And, and you guys don't know. I mean, you're not bad people for supporting. You just don't know. And then you made the other mistake of not doing your research and looking into, okay, is this really a pet we want? And sure, they seem cute. They're cute as hell as babies, right? But when you actually spend, when they grow up and their personalities come in, and they have, you know, uh, uh, their, their sexual hormones develop and all that stuff, they're, 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 they're quite a handful and they can become quite dangerous. And, and, uh, you know, I mean, here's the thing. You know, monkeys are very social, super social. Most primates are super social animals. And these monkeys are putting you in their spot, and they think you're down here. Oh, they think I'm below that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and that's what we need to work on trying to change. Because at this point, it's, you know, you guys love the monkeys, you're gonna keep the monkeys, and they're in a space, you know, they're in a place now where the two options are, you know, if things keep going the way they are, it's not good for your guys' family and your marriage or they go somewhere else. And them going somewhere else, it's literally like taking children away from their mother. That's not gonna that, happen. With a primate especially. Oh, this, this is not gonna happen. No, right. no that's no, not no, gonna that's happen. happen. Exactly, it's I not gonna happen. So I understand. Oh, okay. She feels sorry for monkeys in the zoo. They're like my babies. What can she do to make Don's life better? We need to, we need to work on some things at home to reestablish your relationship with the monkeys and, and where you stand with those monkeys. We need to do that through positive reinforcement, not through aggression, which unfortunately, that's how a lot of them do it when they're in the wild but we need to have you be doing a lot more positive reinforcement, rewarding them for positive behavior around you. It's a bit complicated, and it's hard to get through all that right here, right now, but really that's what needs to happen, and so I think you guys need to seek some professional help from a really quality animal trainer that knows what they're doing. Let me ask you this. You don't recommend people domesticating monkeys? No, I mean, having a monkey's ass pet, I never recommend it, ever. So, look, we got to take a quick break, uh, but when we come back, Dr. Anton is going to help a couple that says their relationship may not survive their pet's next fight. Stick around, folks. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're going to enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.